Hello everyone, Spooky Peg here. Haven't done anything on my channel for a long time, but I'm on a trip down memory lane in um, North London, where I was born and brought up, and I've come to Crouch End, where I lived for a long, 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 long time, and I found something really exciting straight away. Behind me, there are public toilets that are free. Okay, they're not the nicest public toilets, but they're public toilets. Anyway, I'll be back soon because I've got um, stories from Shaun of the Dead and um, spooky stuff. So see you later. Keep it spooky. Okay, fans of Shaun of the Dead, I have brought you to Western Park. And if you will remember, Shaun used to walk down the road of a morning and come and buy himself, yes, a Cornetto which is still on a sign outside the very shop where it was filmed. So there you go, Western Park Crouch End, where Cornettos were bought in Shaun of the Dead. So one last thing here on uh, Shaun of the Dead for now. Um, I know showing you a school doesn't sound like it's got anything to do with it, but this is where I went to school, which is just up the road from there, which was Western Park. And uh, trust me, when you're 11 years old and you go down the road and you see people covered in blood and the uh, roads uh, cordoned off, it was a weird experience. <laughs> Keep it spooky, kids. Oh no, sad news. I brought you down here to see the shop that Sean was working in. Do you remember he worked in the electrical retailer's shop and that's the first time he looked out onto the green outside and saw zombies? Well, unfortunately, because they're doing building work on the town hall, the green is there. But this is the shop where Sean worked. Do you remember? And he had his pen in his top pocket and red came out of it and that was like supposed to be like blood. Anyway, so Sean of the Dead people, this is the shop that Sean worked in and that was the green where he saw the first zombie. I just can't show you the green unless I climb over the fence. Anyway, that will do for now. Hello everyone, spooky pig ghost hunting right here. Can you see behind me a door with a number eight on it? Okay, I'm going to move away because I don't want them knowing I'm standing outside. Okay, so this is a road called Ferriston Road in Hornsey in North London. And I've just been reading up on it. And that house, number eight, is subject to hauntings that have been going on for over a century. It would appear right behind here is St Mary's Church. And uh, when those properties were built in the early 1900s, they weren't properly excavated. And... Um, they were built on top of graves. Now in the 1920s, a family that was living there started to find that they bought coal for their fire and it was being thrown around, windows were being smashed and then other things started to be thrown around the house, so items of clothing, furniture, everything. One of the kids had to be sent off to an institution because they were going slightly crazy with it all. Um, and then we find that in the 1990s, the person that moved in there, they were digging up the garden and found a whole load of graves. And then all kinds of weird knocking sounds started happening in the house. So this property, number eight, Ferriston Road in Hornsey, North London, is cited as a house of spooky interest. There you go. Keep it spooky. And this right here is all that remains of St Mary's Church. It's the uh, Hornsey Church Tower now, and it's just the bell tower. But it's the oldest building in the area, and it was first mentioned in 1291, although they suspect it could have been here longer. And the actual church was demolished in 1927 because the demographic of the area was changing and it just wasn't needed. So, uh, yeah. This is the church tower behind where the house on Ferriston Road was built and the uh, subsequent graves that were under the property would have belonged to this. Okay, end of Hornsey Spooky Stories. Okay, so finishing off with today's spooky vlog. Can you see this chap crawling out from under this railway arch? There he is. He is the Spriggan. Yes, the Spriggan. So this is a disused uh, railway line 
that runs um, through Crouch End. And this is the old Crouch End station. I'm just coming up to the platform now. And there used to be, back in the 70s and 80s, this myth that there was a ghostly goat man who used to hang out under here in these railway arches. And being as I was brought up here, we used to dare each other to come down here at night. And I've just today found out that that was an inspiration behind putting this sculpture called the Spriggan into the railway arches, which is a mythical Cornish being that apparently is known for its thieving, but is also known as the fairy's bodyguard. Yes, and he can body. grow to up to eight feet in uh, height. Um, and also, I've learned today something quite stunning, that this location, and us kids who used to dare each other to come down here at night, because it's quite spooky down here at night, was the inspiration behind a book by Stephen King called Crouch End which I cannot believe I have never heard of. So thus concludes our spooky tales for the day. The disused railway line in Crouch End and the mythical Spriggan. Keep it spooky, kids.